it's book chick again and I am here to give you um, a review of the wipe upstairs um, I just decided to do like a review for this alone because I have been nonstop gushing about it so I know if I try to include this like what I think of this in my wrap-up I will just like that will be the whole video so this gets its own video because I cannot stop talking about it um, but before we get started, I want to apologize for um, the lighting. I cannot find my neutral density filter anywhere. It's like this little thing that clips onto my phone and it like helps balance out the lighting and the glare on my glasses because I am blind. Your girl is very nearsighted, so I need glasses. Um, but I can't find my neutral density filter, so... Um, sorry but I need to like film this and upload it today so here we are um, but um, also go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you like this channel or um, enjoy this video still about like 50% of my viewers are not subscribed so please if you spend that much time on my channel please hit like and subscribe it helps a lot um, but anyway let's finally start talking about this. So this is The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. Um, as you can tell, this is a book of the month book by the little thing in the corner. Um, but you can buy this anywhere now. It came out on January 5th. Um, it is a retelling of Jane Eyre. And if you don't know Jane Eyre, um, that is a work of fiction um, that was like, if I recall, it is like the first thriller. Or like one of the first so and it's also a classic so it's a must read I borrowed a copy from my mom gonna read that soon hopefully and um, maybe do a comparison video so if that sounds like something you would enjoy please let me know in the comments or something um but yeah so like but I never read Jane Eyre so I totally did not see the ending coming I'll try not to do any spoilers in this video but uh you know, we'll see. So anyway, Jane Eyre, like the original, is set in like, I want to say tur turn of the century England. And um, Jane is kind of the help. I'm not sure like what specifically she does in the original, if she's like a maid or whatever. Um, but in this book, she starts out as um, a runaway orphan. She is running from something, but we don't know what until like the very end. And it makes sense, like, I would run from that too. Um, but she's running from Arizona, like, that's where she's ran away from. She tells us fairly early on in the book that she is um, an orphan who aged out of the foster system. This one is set in Birmingham, Alabama, so it's set in modern day. But she tells us that she's an orphan who's aged out of the foster system here in America. Our foster system sucks. Um... If you're not from here, do some Googling. I think you'll be mortified. Um, so that was really accurate. Like, our, our foster system is crap. Um, yeah. So she is running away from something horrible that happened in Arizona, but we don't know what till like, almost the very end of the book. Um, but, so she runs away to Birmingham, Alabama, because one of the other kids who was in the last group home with her before she like completely aged out he um you know he was there with her so he kind of gets it and she's really desperate to just get away and keep running so she contacts him and asks if she can move in with him for a little while it's just supposed to be a couple months you know the deal like she's there for way longer than she intended because she has no money and no family no contacts basically nothing. So she's there for a lot longer than she intends to be, but uh, she gets a job walking dogs in like the rich part of town, which is Thornfield Estates. I'm not sure if that's a real place or not. I know Birmingham is, like if you're not from here, Birmingham, Alabama is indeed a real place. And uh, so she gets a job dog walking in the rich part of town. Like this is where like, I wouldn't even call it, like, a normal suburb. Like, soccer moms do not, like, meet here. Like, no, this is, like, the rich people, the trust fund babies, the people who are, like, new money. They've, like, built their own houses. They've 
they're on like ridiculous like HOA committees like uh yeah so but anyway it is still based off of the original Jane Eyre novel um so of course she meets a guy and he appears to be newly single uh supposedly his wife has died in some horrible accident in this case it's uh, a boat accident and her best friend died with her so and they haven't found the bodies so it's like okay but she's dead it's been a year like they would have found a body by now like for sure but they still haven't even found the best friend so but jane feels that it's okay for her to start you know flirting with him like seeing if he'll ask her out and then eventually one thing leads to another and all of that good stuff um so <laughs> oh it is just it's so messed up and like i did not understand how jane did not see all the red flags like the guy that she meets this mr rochester his name is eddie rochester she did not seem to see all the red flags that suggested he was perhaps an abusive okay so sorry about that my camera died so here we are again um i believe i just said how i didn't see i didn't understand how jane didn't see all the red flags um that eddie was throwing up about being abusive and everything um if you aren't aware of like the original jane Eyre, um uh, he, he eddie or edward probably keeps her keeps the wife the the one who's supposedly dead in the attic i believe in this he's hiding her in um the panic room upstairs so it flips back and forth mostly between jane and b at first b is eddie's um first wife it flips mostly back and forth between her and jane at first and then towards the end it starts um flipping back and forth between B and Jane and Eddie so you can really see from his point of view why he did what he did and like what kind of his reasoning was um and I like that it also it's one of those books I forget what it's called but it flips back and forth between like what's present in the book and what is like the past so like B's memories are in Eddie's memories and then like um when Jane explains what she's running from from Arizona so that's really cool I gotta say I did not see the ending coming um but it makes sense like once they explain like why and everything like it made a lot more sense and I was like wow but I did not see that coming because I didn't read the original first or anything and I don't I'm not even sure if um the way this ended is the same as the original i'll have to read that at some point and let y'all know so um but seriously like i've said in all of my instagram posts lately and like a couple of like my tiktoks if you like southern drama and you like suspense and thrillers you should totally read the wife upstairs it is so so good and it's it's not even very long like it's only 290 pages i know that for some people that's like only 290 pages but it's it's really not that long like i probably would have finished this in like three days if i didn't have like school and a job and you know a normal life like if i could just read for several hours a day and just read this then i probably would have finished this in like less than three days um but definitely check this out i will leave the link down below for um the amazon link and also um the book of the month link if you want to do that if you sign up for book of the month i don't really get anything i do get like a credit i think for you subscribing so like i would get a free book but like you're not going to give me money or anything so i will leave both of those links down below um but that is what i think about this book so and i don't think this video is too super long um but yeah if you liked this video go ahead and hit like and subscribe that would be really really awesome um and i'll see you soon so bye bookworms